Hello everyone, Eric Bird here, Creatively Connecting, day 47. I can't believe that 50 day mark is around the corner. Uh, happy Sunday, hope all of you have had a great weekend. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologize for the space in between recordings. I know the last video I did was earlier in the week on Monday. Some of you may have seen that I have a new role at Welk Resorts where I've been for 15 years and I'm just super proud and excited and honored to be in this new position. And, and really work is going to start picking up for me in a big, big way. It already has. Uh, so I do need to put a lot of energy into that. So you will start to see a taper off and maybe one to two videos a week. But basically what I would love to see for those that want to see the content, just go ahead, shoot me a private message, a direct message. Let me know exactly what you're running into now because as we start, you know, as we're really in the middle of that second month of being in quarantine, the types of struggles that we run into, it may vary. Uh, and I wanna make sure that we still all stay connected and anything that we run into, any roadblocks, challenges that we're running into, that we're speaking out about it and that we're sticking together as a community to make sure that we do help each other through the remainder of this season, however long it may be. So I wanna share one thing with you that uh, for today's episode, I'm just gonna call it, put it on the wall. Put it on the wall and basically what that is to me is so many of us with our devices, we take so many photos these days and this really has become a replacement for a lot of our photo albums. And you know, there's there's good and bad things to that. You know, the photos are up in the cloud. So uh, if there was, you know, let's say you had a fire or water damage in your house and you lost all your photos, that's a tragedy. And you, you your originals are gone. The nice thing about these is you have it up in the cloud, so it won't go away. But the downside to that is we tend to not get as many of them printed and put them on display in our homes. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, I've taken some time, and, and all of you know I'm, I'm huge into photography, so I may get a little more excited than many of you. Uh, but when it comes down to it, you know, just looking at our homes because so many of us, once we're set, once we have our photos up and we have the pictures on the wall, we keep loading these up, but we don't make many changes. And I think it's important for us to be aware. You know, some of you may have lived in your home for 5, 10, 15, 20 years and you have the same photos up and you have the same photo albums on the coffee table. Meanwhile, we're capturing so many moments in life. And one of my favorite messages that I've heard is you don't know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And a lot of us are gonna reflect on this time and remember the beautiful things that took place during this season. So I encourage all of you because a big deal of excitement that I've gotten, you can see a print behind me. This is from the Pantheon, my friend Mike um, at uh, Luminous Views. He has done an amazing job helping me get some of my artwork done. So I just got a new one done. This is where a lot of my excitement came from, um, from the Matterhorn when I was in Europe last year. And that was just a big turning point in my life. So it's very sentil, sentimental to me. And now I look at it, I put it over my bed and I look at it every single night before I go to bed. And it, and it takes me back to that place. So it's completely changed the environment of my home. So I encourage a lot of you, whether it's using getting photo albums, um, you can get those books and put them on your coffee table. I've seen some of you even in the workplace to where they have those mixed tiles and you can get a bunch of those canvases printed. But I encourage you, really look at some of the moments in your life that you did capture Put them on display. It can completely change the environment in your home. You know, even if it's just a photo that you see, change the photo that you see right before you walk out of the house every single day. You know, maybe it's a photo that gives you current perspective or just brings you joy, or it's a reminder of something that you need to be reminded of to maintain that beautiful perspective that you gained from that experience. So get some of your photos off this device. There's so many places online. You can go to Google or why don't all of you share some of the ones that you've discovered because so many of you have, have found great places, whether it's for photo books or whether it is for the mixed tiles, the canvases. There's so many opportunities out there and a lot of them have promotions to where it's very, very reasonable. So take some of those amazing moments that you have that are now cherished memories, put them on the wall, change the environment in your home. It's a fun project. And as you're waiting for that to come in the mail, it's exciting. And then when you put it on the wall, it's exciting as well. And I know right now excitement is something that we all want to do a very good job at creating. So that being said, happy Sunday. I'll see you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for the love and support along this journey. Very excited for this next chapter. We will stay in touch. Again, let me know anything that any of you would love to discuss and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.